Uh, so in this little reaction, I'm going to be reacting uh, my entire four gram supply of zinc with a small amount of hydrochloric acid. Uh, I've worked out I need 42 milliliters, 42.6 milliliters to react fully with the zinc. So I'm going to measure that out and hopefully get some zinc chloride out of this. I don't really need this chemical except it's just quite a fun reaction. A slight excess of hydrochloric acid. That bubbling is a good sign, that means the reaction is producing hydrogen gas. In fact, reaction there. So I'm just going to keep swirling this. Um. Not actually visible. Okay, so I'm currently boiling, well, evaporating down the zinc chloride solution. Hopefully I can get it to a point where it will form a saturated solution and I can uh, crystallise out the product. The water level of the zinc chloride solution has gone down quite a lot. I'm not sure how much is in there. I've got a theoretical yield of 8.26 grams which if you use the solubility data on Wikipedia, you can get that down to 1.9 millilitres of water, but it should crystallise out a lot before that. The, it's taken on a yellow colour. I expect that's from the organic dye that is used in the hydrochloric acid as a detergent. Um, I'm just trying to boil off the water from it currently, which is taking quite a long time. I have now boiled down the zinc chloride solution to just slightly over 5 millilitres of water, so it should almost certainly crystallise out overnight. Uh, it does seem to have decomposed slightly, or well, I'm expecting that to be the organic dye that they use, uh, which should come out with a few crystallisations, but it might, it's a bit annoying because it's dark. I've also done some recalculati recalculating because I didn't factor in that what I would get is the tetrahydrated form, so with four uh, water molecules surrounding it. So I should get 12.66 grams, which is better. Uh, but again, I don't actually need this unless I'm doing some chlorination reactions for alcohol testing or something. Which I might do eventually, but I don't have any current plans for it. This zinc chloride experiment has really just not worked. I'm not entirely sure why but it's not crystallizing out. And I've boiled it down, re-saturated re it in acetone and water and ethanol. It's just not crystallizing out. So for that reason, I'm calling this project quits and putting this in my waste container. But it has been far too long to continue thinking about this silly little experiment. So now it's done.